Influence of the Times here, um, just on our way out to uh, check uh, an abandoned factory that I've had my eye on for quite a long time. Um, in fact, I've had my eye on it for over a year. Uh, it's an old abandoned factory in Birmingham, so we're just on our way now to go check it out. So uh, I'll see you in a couple of minutes and I'll see you on the other side when we go and explore. See you in a little while. Hello and a very special and warm welcome to you. Thank you to everybody who's watching this latest urban exploration abandoned worlds uh, video that I'm doing. Um, again, you'll have to excuse me just at the moment. Uh, I haven't, because this was literally a last minute um, exploration, um, I haven't brought anything with me. So I've not got my tripod or camcorder or anything with me. So if this video is a little bit shaky, just bear with me because I'm literally filming this directly off my mobile phone and I'm literally having to hold it. So that's why it's a little bit wobbly and a bit shaky, but I'll try and hold it as steady as I can. So thank you so much to everybody who's watching this video. Uh, whether you're watching this on Facebook or whether you're watching this on my YouTube channel, very special and warm welcome to you. I'm Influences of Times. It's a pleasure to meet you. And I'm glad that you could join me today on this bank holiday Monday of August 2017 as we're about to explore our next location. Now this video is gonna be um, quite short, to be honest. Um, there's, uh, there's not a lot to see, to be, to be fair, guys. So this is gonna be a really, really short video, but this is another one of those places that I've had my eye on for I think it's well well over a year, a bit like Cavendish House, which was the last episode we did, episode 41 of series two. We went to Cavendish House in Dudley and that was a place that I'd had my eye on for over a year and this is exactly the same. This is one place that I've always wanted to come and visit. Um, because it's a bank holiday and it's pretty quiet, I've managed to, uh, to come in and have a look about. So I've taken a couple of photographs. Um, I haven't taken many because there really isn't a lot to see, guys. But I've taken a couple of photographs, taken one or two outside, and I've taken a couple inside. And they will be on my Facebook page um, and on my website. Uh, so they'll be on there for you to have a look at um, at a later time. Now, as I mentioned in my last episode, I am doing all my episodes slightly different in the sense that one, they're going to be pre recorded, live pre recorded rather than actual live. But also, I'm not going to bore you with all the facts and details because I just want to get on with the exploration. There isn't actually a lot about this place. In fact, there is nothing about this place, um, which doesn't really help. But there isn't actually any information, not that I can find anyway, and whatever there is, it's very, very little. So the only thing I can tell you is what I'm about to tell you. So without further ado, how's about we check out this next location? So welcome to episode 42 of series two. And this place, this is the old co-op factory in Birmingham. So we're literally like five minutes away from the city centre of Birmingham and I've had my eye on this place for so long and I've always wanted to know what it's like in here. It, I mean, again, it's, it, there's hardly anything here, guys. Um, probably because I've left it so long, it's probably demolished even more, um, which is a shame because I would love to have seen it when there was a lot more here. Um, but yeah, we'll go and check it out in a minute. Um, as you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day, hence the reason why I've got my, uh, my sunglasses on. But we'll have a look around in a minute. So this is the co-op factory, the old co-op factory in Birmingham. I don't know anything about this other than it's a Victorian factory. Okay, so we're talking, what, early 1900s, easily. I would imagine by the way it's built, easily early 1900s. We could be talking like 1920s, something like that. And it's the old co-op. Now, I don't... I haven't had time to really research in Google for you, so you're more than welcome to find out on Google for yourselves anyway, the co-op factory. So I haven't had time to actually tell you what this factory made or produced. And that's all I can tell you. It's been abandoned and derelict for a very long time, for a couple of years, maybe even longer than that, judging by the state of the place. I would imagine it's probably been abandoned and derelict, and you can see by the vegetation, it's probably been abandoned and derelict for like 15, 20 years maybe or something. Um, it is going to be demolished very, very soon. Um, and there's talk about flats and everything that's been built here, which is why I'm so glad I've been able to come in here today. 
So how's about we go and have a look. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to change my hand. So it's going to be like this on my hand, guys. You can see I'm holding it. So you're going to have to bear with me, but this is as raw as it's going to get for you guys. Okay, so this is actually just the rawest footage you can get. Let me give you a look about where I'm, I'm standing right in the main part of the factory. I have no idea what this would have been used for. It's the largest part, so this would have been one of the workshop areas of the factory, but I have no idea what would have been here, but I can imagine all the machines and like a press and I don't know, it's just so hard to explain. It's probably going to be one of the most vague episodes I've ever done. Um, but let me give you a look about it anyway, let me just pan it up for you so you can see. So you can see the floor above us is completely missing, so that's all that's left of the beams. And you've got this here, look, if I just move there, can you see that? That there is the old lift shaft. That's the old lift shaft, what's left of it. The cables are still in there, and it's just literally like a, a you can just look right, right, right to the top. There's no way of getting up there, and I wouldn't anyway, for health and safety reasons. Even if I could, I wouldn't. But that's the old lift shaft, so the cables are still in there. So I've taken a photograph of that. Um, but yeah, so that's um, just going down towards, we'll go down that way in a minute. I want to take you the other way, but I just want to give you, I want to kind of take you this way first. But let me just give you a good look about it. So you can see how shaky it is. I'm so sorry. I hold it like this. And you have a good go. It's quite big. You can see how abandoned and derelict it's literally just all overgrown. But you can see what we're looking at. So if I just pan it up there. So that's the very top floor up there, which we can't get to, but we can get to the next floor, which is there. Okay, so we can get there, but we can't get to the next one because the stairs are missing. But you can get an idea of how big it is, like. So can you see the shutters are still there? So obviously, on every floor, there was another floor above. You can see this is like second floor, or first floor. Second floor would have been up there. So you can see the shutters would have been there. So I'm wondering if that was an old goods lift. An old goods lift shaft, so the shutters are still there. But just to give you a good look. Look at the old windows. Like the old panes, like the old uh, frames for the windows. I've, I've wanted to come in here for so long, guys, you wouldn't believe it. I really have. Now, I think because of, because this is going to be such a short broadcast, oh, video message, I'm going to hold the, my mobile phone like this, but I will turn it around in a minute, so I'm not always in the shop. Let me just spin it around so you can see. There you go. Sorry guys, it's so wobbly, I'm so sorry, let me hold it steady. There we go. So you can see how the, that's missing. Now, just like my last episode, guys, I'm not going to talk all the way through this. I'm just going to explore and let you have a look.
idea what this was. Like a little storage cupboard. A little bucket. A really old one. Looks like another two, um, and don't know what they were. Little cupboards or something. Or like, I don't know, maybe they were like two toilets. Don't know. Let's have a look. Graffiti on the wall. Got to be really careful because that floor is falling through. Look at the old bits of wood. I mean, look at that old frame there. Look, that's an old window frame falling down from somewhere. Can you see it? A whole window frame. A really old one. If I stand back you can see it. Look at that. It's even got the window catch on it. stairs would have been. They would have gone up there, look. It's a pity we can't get up there, because there's like another floor. You can see the original banister still up there, at the top. But it's, yeah, it's just completely gone. So you see that stairs. doors look. This one here, actually like um, one of the old sliding ones. I don't know if you can see just here look, like the old bracket and the old wheels that used to like slide across. Like one of the really old sliding doors. Flight steps to come up here.
obviously like where um, the floor would have been across here, so like the doorway. Yeah, the doorway. And you would have been able to walk right across there, look. On like the first floor. And then the second floor would have been above that. So you can see out the windows. Some of the glass is actually still in the windows, I don't know if you can see it, but... Some of the little bits of glass still in the windows. And you can see like the, um... Can you see them hanging down? And like little ventilation things. I just point. Almost. There. See it? The little extractor fans. That's looking straight across. Look at that tower look with a balcony on it. Wow. I love the way these buildings were made. Downstairs. What fly steps is that? What old Victorian steps? There's like a banister, like a railing. Let's go right through this way. Like the old flat tree, I don't know if you can see. Some of the old like factory tiling still on the floor, can you see it? Through the dust. saying about um, the lift shaft. I'll look on there now. Look at that. It's like a 
cables and stuff are still there. You can see the bottom is just like full of falling in timber and stuff. And the good stores are still there. Victorian urinal. Can you see it just in the back there? That white thing. Yeah. It's like an old Victorian urinal. The door's locked. If I just spin around. Sorry, guys. The door. It's still there. So, yes, yeah, would be like um, a staff toilet, restroom kind of area. So there would have been another one there. Show what it looks like from outside. So I'll go just through these trees. Can have a look, see what it looks like from out here. So there we go guys, that was really short and sweet, I know, um, but um, there's nothing else to show you, that's literally all there is, but I'm just so glad, I'm really, really pleased that I got to, uh, to go in there, one before it gets demolished, and secondly because obviously it's been um, on my list of places to, to visit um, for like well over a year, and I'm just so glad I've been in there and actually seen what it's like. Um, I don't know, there's, there's, it's just basically an empty shell, a lot of abandoned places are empty shells anyway. Uh, and this is certainly one of them. Um, but um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me in for the times as we continue to go in search of Britain's most abandoned and derelict places as our search and quest for Britain's abandoned derelict places continues. Stay tuned and keep watching. Um, as I said on my last um, episode, stay tuned, keep watching because I've got lots and lots and lots. You wouldn't believe the amount of locations that I've got coming up in this series. We've got new ones coming up. We've got ones that I've um, wanted to visit for a long time. So we've got plenty of episodes coming your way right here on Facebook and on my YouTube channel. And don't forget, um, don't forget to hit like on this video. Don't forget to hit like, um, go to Facebook, to, uh, go to Urban World's Influencer Times, join my um, Facebook page, hit like, share it. Um, also go to check out my YouTube channel, um, Urban Wells Influence of the Times again, um, click like or subscribe and just share the channel and let's see if we can get lots and lots of people watching, lots of people interested um, because I'm doing this for you guys as well as for me, I mean I love doing this with a passion um, and it wouldn't make any difference to me if I had one subscriber or a thousand or a million, I, I would do it anyway 
um, but I'm doing it for this uh, for you guys so that you can see what it's like in Britain's most abandoned and derelict places. So from me and the old co-op factory in Birmingham, um, from me and this this amazing Victorian, well I say amazing, this, well, I think it's amazing because it's Victorian and it's so old, but from me and this factory, uh, you take care, God bless, enjoy the rest of your bank holiday weekend, enjoy, have a fantastic week, in about five, day, five days time, I'm going to be spending 12 hours in Shrewsbury's prison, uh, so join me for that episode, it's going to be a live special edition, live broadcast right here on Facebook. Um, it'll be on my YouTube channel as well, so don't worry. Uh, but join me on Saturday, the 2nd of September, where I'll be spending 12 hours in lockdown in one of Britain's most abandoned and derelict, most notorious prisons. I'll be spending a whole night in Shrewsbury Prison, in a cell. It's going to be a fantastic episode. Uh, who knows what could happen? Anything could happen. Uh, it's going to be absolutely brilliant. The atmosphere in there is going to be buzzing because there's going to be loads of other people in there as well. So it's going to be absolutely amazing. And I'm also going to get up in the middle of the night or even just stay awake until 2, 3 in the morning, do a video in the middle of the night, see what it's like. See what it's like to walk around a prison in the middle of the night in the dark. Um, yeah, check it out. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Anyway, from me and uh, this factory, God bless, take care. Enjoy the rest of this fantastic weather. It's absolutely glorious here in Birmingham. So from here uh, in Birmingham, uh, you take care, God bless. And I'll speak to you very soon. Thank you so much for watching. And um, ooh, you can tell I haven't got my tripod, can't you? Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, uh, this short brief video message. Till the next time, God bless, take care. Bye-bye for now.